Mm, hello. I am making some cinnamon plum tea. And when this is done, it will be time to type things. And so forth. You know what I'm saying there. Um, how was the substream? It was nice. I enjoyed it. It was mellower than normal. Um, but that's that's okay. That's good sometimes. We got a new tea runners delivery today. It is late, so I'm trying an herbal tea. It is a cinnamon plum herbal tea. It could be gross. I don't tend to like fruity teas. So we'll see what happens. What are my thoughts on the usefulness of IDE like features like jump to definition? Why who why do people ask me this shit? <laughs> 9 p.m. is considered late night it is, I mean I go to bed around midnight usually so it's rant bait no i mean go to definition is useful everybody knows it's useful what the fuck do you want me to say it's like i'm trying to think about yeah i don't know i'm already in a bad mood we're starting off in a real good tonight all right um I mean, and also it's a what are your thoughts questions and those automatically aggravate the shit out of me always. So. I should just ban the, the word thoughts on this channel. Okay. So, (laughs) 
what do I want to start with? I guess um, let's just make sure. I believe that we should be totally up to date with the compiler on here, but let's just make sure. Oh, we weren't. Not even close. That means other people have been working on it probably. Let's see what people have been doing. Oh my God, this is fixed. That's super good. Yeah, no, these are all value, and I didn't do any of these. So I will see what I can do to add some value. Look at that. It's already been almost a week since we shipped a compiler version. I took a couple days off this week. That's what happens when I take days off. We'll try to ask better questions. I mean, it's like the thing about what are your thoughts on questions is you're asking the other person to do all the work. It's like, like, okay, like if somebody, well, and probably just for entertainment value, right? Like, because it's not a specific question about anything and on any issue requiring act. It's just like, I don't know, come up with something interesting to say about the topic that I'm interested in. It's like, well, eh. Whereas like specific questions usually are specific because the people asking them are uh, actually have a specific issue or a specific problem. And it's much easier to actually say something useful in response to those as well. Okay. Let's, we got, you know, we got some dumb bug reports. We, I feel like we should have run out of dumb, dumb, stupid bugs by now, but of course not. Um, so like, here's one that we got today. Like this doesn't work. Like really? Come on, bro. You telling me this doesn't work? Okay, first we have to rebuild the compiler. We'll do debug build. It's fine. Yeah, I mean, it's a kind of question that people ask a lot, so I'm not that surprised, but, you know. It's just, and also, just when I'm tired, which I have been lately, um, this is just less energy for that kind of question. Um, okay, so compiler's running. That's great. Um, that's great. So this will not be great. Unhandled target of asked extract. So what that means, so when we desugar a compound declaration. These are such a pain in the ass for how, like they've caused so many problems for how simple and stupid they should be. I don't even know what to say about it. Um, but anyway, um, so what I think this means, we'll go look at the code that desugars compound declarations like this, but I think we look at what's on the right-hand side and then 
make a decision of, of what to do based on that. And I think we're only supposed to make an extract when it's, um, but when it's like a procedure call or something, there's one other case. Um, otherwise we're supposed to actually do something different here. I think, um, let's just go look at that code. Uh, so there's check and desugar compound declaration. Hmm. Okay, wait, if it's a binary operator, oh, because we don't, if it's a binary operator, we don't know if it's a procedure call or not. I mean, you can't actually overload operator dot, but it doesn't matter. Like this would happen for other things if we don't fix it here. Okay, so let's make sure we have debug compiler. We do. Let's, uh, this T actually isn't horrible. It's just also, I mean, it's a fruity T. It's like not my favorite. Um, Okay, so the message is unhandled target of ass extract. Okay, unhandled target of ass extract. It's a binary operator, but wait, doesn't it have a substitution? No, because, okay. What just happened? I just typed a thing. Yeah, Visual Studio just happened. So, I think we just fix this here. and comment. I, I remember vaguely changing this a while ago, so I might have actually broken this. Um, so when we're in mode extract, do we, yeah, okay. So these extracts, they're just internal things that we make for dealing with situations like this. So Although, actually, I think, I think we actually do know by now. When do we? We could, in principle, actually know. Um, at least we didn't used to know because we used to desugar in the parser. But now that we desugar in typer, we could just let compound 
declaration infer it's RHS and make the appropriate decision at that time, which probably simplifies that code and means we don't have to deal with this case. So here we'll say I think that's, I mean, there may be other issues elsewhere later in the pipeline, but um, that probably fixes that. Yeah, so now it's like we're trying to emit the extract. Oh wait, do we have more than that? Yeah, okay. We have another unhandled type of AST extract in the builder. Oh, this is this is type of. All right. Okay, this actually sucks. I have a problem. The problem is that I don't want to evaluate like when we're generating the bytecode if I just regenerate bytecode for this expression every time then we're like evaluating it multiple times. So the extract We need to store more information here. Can comma be overloaded? No, comma is not an operator. Um, like in C, comma is an operator. In, I mean, it's not if you're calling a procedure, but it is otherwise, right? Here, comma is not an operator. What is B supposed to be? Um, it's supposed to clone this value into both of these. So A and B are supposed to get the same value. And the thing is, the naive thing to do right here is just evaluate this multiple times, but I don't want to do that, right? Okay. Okay, so when I get here, I want to say I want to say assert extract This is can mm, see these are such a pain in the ass. I hate them. I I literally hate them at this point for how much trouble they've caused me. For how stupid and simple they should be.
So like if we know it's a simple thing, we do this mode assign down here. I'm feeling like I should knuckle down and do the better correct solution here, but I don't actually, I don't want to do that right now. I don't want to destabilize things. Sounds like this should be an error. No. Is there a way to view the code after desugaring? I mean, I think your meta program can see both things. I think. If you're wanting to get into game dev, should you be learning Unreal or Unity? That's someone who wants to get banned from this channel. <laughs> Okay, um, if you legit don't know where to start, then again, I don't know what to say because there's so many, there's so many sources of information on the internet. You just do something. That's all you have to do to get started. It's really not an issue. A comma B colon equals one value. Oh, you mean, should I change the semantics to make it an error? I don't know, like if you want to set a lot of things to one value, it's a little bit convenient to be able to say that, but honestly, I hate it. It's way too complicated for what it is. I mean, as I look at this, this pick from arguments on right, we could get rid of that and just have that be extract as well. Just to simplify. Although that's not a very complicated case. <laughs> See, this is just not very good the way that this works. I should honestly, I should get rid of this mode assign completely and make extract work.
because these aren't, like I was doing certain cases to try to reduce the number of nodes that I make and make things optimal and stuff. It's not worth it. Like these don't happen that often. Um, I don't think, I mean, obviously your programming style could be whatever, but they're not really worth optimizing for in that way, I don't think. I think it's better to just make them simple. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to We're going to make this extract case work. Um, and then we're going to get rid of mode assign here. And that, that'll be actually good. That, that won't just be dumb compiler bug fix. It'll be like, okay, we achieved, like we desperately need to increase simplicity of all software everywhere in the world. Uh, this compiler included. So if I can make this simpler, that's good. I mean, I will say the following thing. If you think your two choices are Unity or Unreal, which they aren't. There's other choices in the world about how to do it. But if you think your two choices are Unity or, or Unreal, then in general, it's not 100% true, but there is kind of a skill dichotomy, okay? Where like the, the better engine using developers use Unreal and the not as good ones use Unity. It is not consistent. There's outliers and exceptions and all that, but that's generally how it is. So like what skill level do you want to be, right? Let's put it that way. If you think those are your two choices, what is ABC equals one comma two? That is an error. I actually don't believe in worse is better. I think that's wrong. Um, however, really complicated is also not good. Um, Sometimes worse is better. Yeah, I, that's probably an accurate statement. Sometimes worse is better. With Unreal, you need a lot more years to get a job. I That doesn't sound right to me. You don't get what's wrong with mode assign. It's just that for this one feature, there's like all these different ways that it can get processed. Like that's complexity that I don't want. This thing, like it's fucking 2021, okay? I started programming this compiler seven years ago and there's still bugs in this feature, okay? So it is obviously too complicated, obviously. Therefore, it will be much better if I can make it simpler. Like the reason we're looking at this is that someone filed a bug on it. It's 
It's longer than The Witness. Yeah, although I did, wasn't working on it full time in 2014. Um, but yeah, I've been working on this a long time. Okay. Is this going to be a hard problem to solve? I don't think it's going to be that hard, although... I honestly don't know. Um... Because we have to change the way some stuff works. Like, we'll see what happens. Um, I feel like there is potential badness to come, but let's just do it. So if, if we're in mode... Uh, extract, we're going to say we're going to do this. And we're going to use this here. And we're going to say Punt on this bug until I'm less tired. No, I'm I'm not too tired to do a good job on the bug. Bugs, you can do bugs when you're tired. Up to some level of tiredness. Um, being creative is hard to do when you're like tired. You know. I'm all over the puzzle universe, yes. All right, see? So we compiled. We, however, did not do the right thing. We outputted a garbage value. We like didn't generate anything. 
for Oh right, because it's the same thing. Um You know what? I'm tempted to just try to solve this the right way. Yeah, no, let's, okay. No, this, this will be the right way. Hang on. One thing at a time. So. So this returns the same... Like A and B should be bound to the same like register, right? So But no, V10 is like the address of the var args array. Oh, right. Okay. So So here, if we're getting the text count. No. Um, it's hard to tell. So this is line 10. Yeah, so. So it seems to think B is V4 and we don't ever, we don't ever assign to that. Okay.
Yeah, this might not even be necessary, actually. Okay. I'm being bombarded with nonsensical questions that don't make sense. Okay, so I'm not sure. Let's just see what happens in that case. We're just going to step it. I'm not sure why this doesn't assign something to V4, right? So when we get here, we're way down on the stack. We're emitting a declaration. And um, so do placed assignment. So the value register is four. So we're looking to put something in register four or value four, right? It's not a machine register. Okay. So we return decal value register. Wait, which is four. Wait, what? I put the wrong thing on there, right? I put the new declaration, not the old one. So this is F8, F8, which is th this. Yeah, okay. I see the bug. I see the bug. Okay. Yes, I said other decal. And then we're going to say Hey, look, we got two five. We got a pair of fives. We can play poker with that. Okay. Okay. Now, 
I have questions such as the following. Okay, that's actually good. That's good. I was worried I was going to have to do more work there. Um, so these two things, they get copied. Oh, oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Let's try that. Okay, they get copied. That's good. That means that I'm actually kind of done with this part of the fix, as far as I know. So I'm going to make a repro case. I'm going to run all the tests. I'm going to check this fix in, but then we're going to go back and try to simplify some things. Here's a stretch case. That is not a stretch case because that is not how this works. That is not how this programming language works. <laughs> okay. Um, Can I summarize the semantics of how it does work? No, there's plenty of videos on YouTube that'll tell you that. I am not going to go cover things like that right now because I'm actually working on the problem. If you are interested, you can go to the compiler videos stream. Why does D end with 90 and E with 80? Because those are separate memory addresses and they're not the same address. They're 16 bytes apart. <clears throat> okay. So, <clears throat> so let's freaking Here's our repro case. This is going to be called um, um, spreading non simple. Not called spreading. Um, okay, this will go in here. that in there. That is our repro. Let us <clears throat> do that. I will meanwhile reply to the submitter and say fixed in the next beta, which is great. And four hour turnaround on bug fix.
There we go. And there we go. These are all good things. Okay. So, we check this in. I think I've left a no check in in there, right? Okay. So we check this in, and then And then the line must be drawn here with regard to complexity. And there's two different parts of this. One that we could do, which I might leave till tomorrow, honestly, because it is more complicated. Um, one of them is the compound declaration, uh, knowing what's on the right hand side. I'm writing this down. Two is um, what I'm going to do right now, which is reducing D sugar cases. Okay. Um, I just realized I can't actually reduce it to sugar cases the way I wanted to. Or more to the point, I think there are things that don't actually currently work that I need to figure out how to make them work. So um, if we go back here, What if I just do this? Sorry, that's a constant, that's a constant. Right, so that should work fine. Great. What if I go, I feel like this isn't gonna work. I guess it did though. I don't understand why that works. Oh, is it because it gets substituted first on the right hand side? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Um, but what that means is I can't actually simplify it.
And the reason why is because the thing that we were just looking at, that we made that change to, was a thing that generates instructions for runtime code. But we also guarantee compile time evaluation of constant expressions. And um, here we have these two things bound as constant expressions to another constant on the right hand side. Um, and there's no runtime code generated for that, right? It's just we have to assign both of these things to that same expression. And the way that we do that is like the way that we already do it. So that's a little bit unfortunate. It's okay though, we already have made progress. Um, Any undermine later? Probably not. I might be done with that game. Like, I feel like I've gotten what I was going to get out of playing it. You never know, though. There is a possibility. Probably not tonight, though. Was it worth the money? Sure. But, I mean, I pay $7,000 a, a day to make video games. So, I mean, paying 20 bucks or whatever for an indie game is not that much. Think of all the habits that people could have in life that are expensive and bad for them. I mean, I doubt there's any drug habit even that's $7,000 a day. Maybe there is. Okay, let me go back and look at this. See, even these modes here are kind of not right. Like this is shoehorned into AST Extract for some reason. It's really a separate case. As you can see, it's totally different code from this one, right? It's actually a lot like mode assign. Um, huh. Actually, the mode assign isn't even what I thought. Oh, no, yes, it is. Okay, never mind.
You always get annoyed with procedures like write text, where you have to look at the implementation to find out what each parameter is. Yeah, I mean, that's just a thing, right? Like, like when procedures take parameters that are all different types, it's just easier to understand from context what that's doing, right? Than w when it takes a bunch of the same thing, right? Um, so that's a totally reasonable observation that you could use to guide your programming style or the your style of making APIs or whatever. Mm. I'm yawning a lot, so this may be a short stream tonight. I also drank absolutely no caffeine today because I wanted to like chill out on the caffeine and Yeah. So we're looking forward to getting some sleep. Um, okay. I feel like We're going to break the run directive into a separate thing. I know I have tests for this. Um, because I made them not that long ago. Okay, we're going to say assert this. Oh, we already we already cast it. Gah, I keep deleting too much. There we go. Okay, that looks better to me. Um, now. We need to actually make this happen up here. go. So we take this out from up here. And then I think I think we need to break this into different things, right? Let me see if there's any other weird checks for, whoops, any weird checks for mode. This is actually, yes, this is 
cleaner and more understandable so far. Um, let's just uh, see if that works. So I think if you start working on something, like the thing is if you just watch a bunch of tutorials, you, there's no, it's hard to absorb the information very effectively because you don't know what exactly it's for really. Like if you're working on something and then you're like, I'm stuck on this thing or I don't know what to do here in this specific place, you can go watch the specific tutorial, right? And then you know exactly why you're watching it and you know what information you're trying to get out of it and you know whether it's giving you that information or not, right? Or whether you should look at a different one. So I always learned much faster when I was trying to apply the knowledge directly to something I was working on. Okay, we passed all those tests, so I'm just gonna check that in. We're, we're taking small wins tonight. Um, minor change to how compound declarations are desugared. Oh, you know what? I never put in the change log. Um, Okay. See, I wanted to make fewer cases here and I just added one, but sometimes that is actually the simpler thing. Okay. This thing, I hope is Like, do we know the type? Because if we do, that means we know everything about it at this point. That's good news. Okay, so what that means is that this unary binary operator thing is a remnant of when this was in the parser. And I could actually put it down here. However, Okay, so here's an experiment.
so if that's what's going on, otherwise this. Otherwise, we're going to do this. Okay, that emit code for expression thing probably means there's a better way to handle the thing that I did. We're still getting the fives. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Okay. Kind of amazing that that just straight up worked. Okay. Now, the fact that this, see, this emit code for expression, I wasn't reading the code carefully enough. Hmm. Like literally nobody pays attention to that. Literally nobody pays attention to that. Okay, what that was supposed to do is let us handle this in a less messy way. Um, however, I'm realizing now that it's not actually less messy necessarily. So we're just gonna delete these lines. Maybe that would be a better way. Maybe not. Yeah, I agree with what Johnson's saying about wasting time. Like, like, look, <laughs> you're not going to be good at making games in the beginning because it's hard. There's a lot to know. So your goal should just be to get experience, right? And you're getting experience by trying it. So like delaying that, delaying getting that experience is not really the right move by asking 
questions and saying, oh, if I if I start this next year, I'll be in the place to learn it the best. Not, not really, right? You just want to get experience and get better at it. Yeah. So, you know, even if you do something in the beginning and it turns out to not be that good of a way to do it, that's fine, right? Because that goes into your experience box of like, oh, I did this thing and I saw how it didn't work out and I see what I don't like about what happened. That's valuable, actually. Uh, it might be bedtime for me. We only fixed a couple things tonight. Maybe it's a short stream. Um, I just wanted to fire one off and get some things done. Like, I really do want to delete some of this code that I'm looking at, but I don't exactly know how to do it. Actually, this literal case here, we probably don't even need. It's actually, it's a little bit less, because this whole thing that had the unary binary operator up here, that was actually hairy. Um, oh, I think, I think this comment is wrong now. I think we've fixed must working with operators. Um, because we know it's a procedure call now. The reason that didn't work before is because we were doing that in the parser. Okay. Um, Let's just do this. Let's make this local. We'll delete this declaration up here. And do that. Just tiny, tiny little improvements. Okay, wait, this mode assign is wrong. I don't know why I'm assuming it's an identifier. Oh, wait. 
args. Oh, that's the left args. I see. Yep, I think we're gonna we're just gonna run the tests and check this in. Um, again, I really this is less scary already because those ifs are gone. I would like to figure out how to just reduce. Like this is just too many lines, man. Maybe it's not, but maybe it is. But like, I don't know, like this looks big, but it's literally just grabbing the expression out. And it's mostly error reporting. Oh, so that's fine. All right, thanks everybody for coming by to this short little stream where we did a small amount of work. But you know what? That's a small amount of work that wouldn't have gotten done if we hadn't sat down to do it. So that's nice. Um, yeah, thanks everyone for coming by and I'm debating whether I'm going to do a whole bunch of streaming tomorrow. We need to see how I feel when I get up. Right before I started this stream, I was like, yeah, Monday, I'm going to do like eight hours or 10 hours or 200 hours of streaming. We'll see if that actually happens. Maybe it won't. Maybe it will. Who knows? Thanks and see you later.